In this video about body armor for the Samurai and Ninja Topics playlist, I will be introducing an important but perhaps not so well known part of Samurai body armor. The link to the playlist will be in the pinned comment below as well as links to the main channels for each of the participants. Please check out the list and their channels. This is auxiliary body armor meant to complement the main dual body armor. In various configurations, it is known by names such as Manchira, Wakibiki, Manju Noa, among others. Now, naturally, not all samurai had these, but for those who could afford them, they were an option, and they were used. These were garments, usually padded, worn over or under, although I usually see them depicted as under the dual. They had small, thin hexagonal plates called Kiko, small, thin rectangular plates called Kurata, male called kusari or a combination of the three sewn onto or into the cloth japanese male was somewhat different from european male but the basic idea was still small connected or interlocked rings the garments were meant to provide some protection to open spots such as under the arms or towards the bottom of the dole and in potential gaps such as where the dole is tied shut now, i think it is important that people to at least know that these kind of armor, supplemental armors existed. It was not as if the samurai had no options for additional protection. If they could afford them, there were options. This does not mean that every samurai who could afford them used them, but they were available. It seems perhaps to not be quite so well known that the Japanese developed their own versions of very similar ideas used by European knights well before contact with Europeans. And I make the connection to Europe because the use of things such as padded gambesons and mail is well established for European knights. There are records dating back to the 14th century of male shirts being worn under the door by some samurai in order to provide some coverage to weak points in their armor. Like most cultures with armored warriors, fighting techniques developed to target getting around the armor rather than trying to go through it usually. There were some things meant to pierce, puncture, go through armor or implements that were co-opted for that use. If you want to, I have a short video about the Tsurohashi, which was a tool that could be altered on the battlefield for such use. Thus, auxiliary pieces of armor were developed over time to help compensate and add protection. Such armor could be surprisingly effective, especially against glancing strikes that could still cause serious wounds to otherwise unprotected areas. Variations of this type of armor could also be worn as a basic casual armor under one's clothing. This was a very short video, but I just wanted to introduce this topic to you at this point. I do hope that you found it informative. If you liked it, please consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing. Links to social media are in the description. Please also take a look at the playlist for videos by myself and other creators on various topics. I look forward to comments, questions, and discussions below. Thank you so much for watching or listening. Until next time, take care.